This is a PERT practice test. We're going to do four questions. The first problem here is a simplify, no equal sign. So we're going to use PEMDAS. We're going to combine like terms and perform the order of operations. Negative 3 times 2 was negative 6. Negative 4 squared was positive 16 plus 2, and then that negative 6 minus 16 plus 2. It's going to give me negative 22 plus 2, which is negative 20. This one here is a little bit more involved. It has some variables. Um, I want to combine the digits first. That's going to give me a negative 11, and we usually put that at the back end. Negative 5x to the 8th y minus negative 8x to the 8th y. They combine to equal negative 13x to the 8th y. And the middle term is going to be 6xy plus 1xy. That's going to give me 7xy. Let's see if it lines up with any of the answers. And there it is. Looks to me to be just like the second choice. Right there. Now looking at number three, it's an evaluate problem. This one's a little complicated. What I have to do is I have to figure out where the negative 2 and the positive 4 go in this expression. So it's uh, wherever there's an x, I have to plug in a negative 2. Wherever there's a y, I have to plug in the positive 4. So negative 2 to the 4th minus 4, and that goes in parentheses, that's the first quantity, and then x again is going to be negative 2 so that's going to give me negative 2 plus 4 and that quantity is squared so let's start simplifying negative 2 to the fourth that's going to give me negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 Sometimes it's better to do this without a calculator. <clears throat> so that's going to give me 16 minus 4, which is 12. And then over here I have 4 minus 2, which is 2 squared. So 12 times 4, basically. That's just going to give me 48. And that lines up with choice C. Now we're at a solve. We have to solve for x. I'm going to isolate that variable. So if I cover up the 2 thirds x and then do the opposite of what's next to it, the opposite of plus 6, whoops, the opposite of plus 6 is subtract 6. So I subtract 6 from both sides. And that's going to give me 2 thirds x equals negative 2. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Now I want to do the reciprocal rule. I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of the leading coefficient. And uh, multiplying fractions is no problem. It's top times top, which is negative 6. Bottom times bottom, which is 2. And that's going to simplify to just negative 3. And that lines up with choice B. Hope this helped you out on problems one through four on the PERT practice.